Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you what it's like to hike to Stoddard Peak here in the front of the Angeles National Forest. It's one of the lower peaks here in the forest, but it's a fun hike. It's about six miles round trip, a little over a thousand feet, I think around 1100 feet of climbing. Great beginner's hike. There's a little bit of scrambling, but it's not too tough. And uh, at the top you get beautiful views of Baldy and uh, suburban Los Angeles area. I don't know how beautiful that is, but anyway, those are the things you can see. It's a neat hike, worth doing if you have not done it already. If you want to do it, I have a full guide on Hiking Guy where I have maps, parking information, a little more depth on the details of the hike, so check that out before you go. And if you're liking the video, if you're enjoying it, if you could click the little thumbs up button, that helps me out a ton, helps other people find the video, hopefully do the hike safely, know what to expect, and all that good stuff. So anyway, let's uh, head up to Stoddard Peak. All right, so from the parking area, which is just down from Mount Baldy Road, we're gonna go to the north end and go by this little power substation. Don't use the other trailhead on the south end, go past that one, and we'll be on a dirt road. It's a little bit rutted in the beginning. There's some side trails off to the right. We're just gonna go straight on this dirt road. And we're gonna to get to a big clearing here, and there's a little trail sign. I think at one point you could probably drive up to this point to park, but not anymore. We're going to be heading down this wide dirt road. Now you see these signs that say private um, property. That's for cars only. It is open to hikers. This is Angeles National Forest and you're going to be fine. But there are cars here because there are cabins. As we start to go up a little bit, you're going to see a road off to the right there. We're going to go straight, continue going uphill past the private property or private driveway sign and keep going up. We're gonna pass some of the cabins right over here. And these are active cabins. People use these. Um, they're in good condition, nice cabins. I think one sold for about $240,000 uh, a few years ago, 2018. Really nice place up here, but we're gonna go past the cabins and eventually we're gonna get to a gate and we're gonna go through the gate. And at this point, there's no more vehicles. You probably won't see any vehicles in the first part anyway. It'll just be people from the cabins, but from here on out, the road is primitive. It is a road, but it is much more narrow, and it feels a lot more like a big, wide trail. Now, that peak in front of us is called uh, Turtle's Beak. That's not Stoddard Peak. It's actually a little bit higher. And as we go up across the valley, we're going to see Sunset Peak dominating the ridge over to the right as we climb up. Now, the climb isn't too tough. There are shaded sections like this. Um, once you kind of get past the cabins a little bit, it sort of levels out and you'll be able to see down into the valley where the road is. And that bump ahead is actually not Stoddard Peak. That's the false peak. And we'll see that in a second. Now, when you come to Stoddard Flat here, this is an important turnoff. We're going to make the right onto the small kind of hidden trail and leave the Barrett Stoddard Road, which we were on before and start heading uphill to the false peak that we saw earlier. This is actually probably call this one out of three false peaks. When you get to the top of this little hill, you'll see that over there, which is the, uh, what people more often refer to as the false peak. And we're just gonna hike along the ridge over to the main false peak. And when we get over to this one, you're gonna see there's some narrow sections on the ridge. Usually the trail kind of splits apart if you Cheat it a little bit left, you'll be okay. But when we get to the false peak over here, you're going to see the Stoddard Peak proper in front of you, which is right over there. We're just going to do a little downhill, and then we're going to kind of go uphill as we follow the ridge along. Now, the important thing is once you pass this big rock, past the false peak, don't go down there. That's a really steep, kind of loose gravelly way to go. You're going to want to go up along the left on the rock, and then you'll be on the ridge and eventually you'll come up to the witness post here used for surveying it's in really good condition the v12 there's a trail register and this is stoddard peak up ahead of you you're going to see um, upland there's uh, saddleback mountain and then back behind you is mount baldy and just enjoy it and then head back the way you came so that's it. Once you get up here, you just turn around, head back the way you came. If you hang out for a second, I'll show you what the hike looks like on a map. Otherwise, guys, I will see you on the internet and hopefully on the trails. See ya.
All right, so here's Mount Baldy Road, and we're gonna basically come up here. The parking can be a little bit tricky, so let me just show you the map while we're here. And I have this on the website as well. But when you come over the road, there's not really a sign or anything. You're gonna make this turn in here, go down this little hill, and then there's the parking area, and then there's the power substation. And if we swing this around, you can see we climb up on the road here, and this is a dirt road once again private drive for um, driving, but open to hikers. We go through the cabin area over here, and then we start climbing up, and it's pretty gradual. We're gonna pass some canyons as we climb up here. And if I swing around, you're gonna get really great views. One of the things I like about this hike is the views that you have as you hike up. You're gonna see um, Sunset Peak over here, Potato Mountain, then if we look back, you'll get nice views of Baldy, which is up there. And there's Iron Mountain over there, Big Iron. So really nice uh, views as you cruise up this exposed area. Now, let me swing her back around here. We're gonna pass um, the canyon right here, and then we're gonna come up to uh, Stoddard Flat, which is right here, and you can see the Barrett Stoddard Road continues down there. You don't want to do that. That'll be a little bit more work. Instead, we're going to take the small trail up the ridge line here. This is the first kind of fall summit. And then we go around to what looks like the summit right here, which is the main fall summit when people refer to the fall summit. Here we go. You can see from up here, it seems higher. But then we're going to go down and go over to the summit here where you get these commanding views of the canyon coming up to Baldy, um, Saddleback Mountain over there. And if we swing it around and look up, you will see there is Baldy up top there. So really nice views from here. You can see it's pretty unobstructed as we uh, gain the summit right here. Thank you.